Hello, hello. Welcome back to another video. My name is Catrice and I'm with Impulse and Gestures. And tonight we are doing beaded everything. <laughs> um, it's really going to be the uh, cigar numbers. So in the past I did a video and a lot of you may have already seen it. It's probably my biggest video on this channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate y'all for watching it. Um, it, it was the, the video of my beaded roach clips. And they kind of look like, actually I have a few here. Let me show you exactly what they look like. The ones that I did not sell, um, that are still for sale. So the first video I did, I did these, which were the beaded roach clips. And now these are some that I did after that video. They're adorable. I love them. This one has a little tassel on it. I'm going to put these on my site. I've been saying I'm going to put these on my site, y'all, for some time now. And I haven't gotten around to it. But I'm trying to make it a point to get around to doing what I say I'm going to do. So, with that being said, I probably should apologize to you guys. Because when I did that video, I said that I would do the video on the cigar numbers. So yeah, these are a few other ones. But the cigar numbers are like a small version of what the roach clips are. And cigar smokers would use these. So roach clips typically for people that smoke herb <laughs> and um, they would use just something pretty to clip on to the, the very end of it to smoke the last bit of what they're trying to get. Um, these can also be used as credit card holders or bracelet helpers. Now, with bracelet helpers, I feel like it, it needs to be a little bit more bendy because you're going to need to attach it and pull it around your wrist and you kind of want it to be able to do that, I think. It's just my opinion. I think if you're going to do a bracelet helper or call these bracelet helpers, helpers, then it should be a little bit more flexible. Um, it could probably still work if you use these, so that's a good way to advertise them. And also, credit card holders or pulls, like if you have long nails or whatever, or you just don't want to touch the machines at the gas station or whatever, you can use these to pull. So, I like to make them a little bit shorter than my normal roach clip, like this, you see the difference in size. Yeah, see how much shorter this one is? Just because it's it's easier, you know, to handle in your hand, put it on there and then pull. I feel like you don't want anything that's gonna be too long and then it's flimsy or whatever. But when I sell my uh, credit card pulls, it's, uh, this is what one looks like. And it has the, it's a, a resin letter initial. And then this is, some hand sanitizer inside a, a cute little pouch for the hand sanitizer. And this is all one thing. And I sell these on my website, which will be scrolling down below. <laughs> or you can catch it. It's actually attached to my YouTube channel on my flow page. It has all of my links and you can find it there. But yes, so you get your credit card pool and you get a, a pouch to match with hand sanitizer. There is hand sanitizer in here. And then you get whatever initial that you choose. So that is that. So, but like I said, this video is really about the cigar numbers because this is the video that I promised you guys a long time ago. And again, I apologize. Life has gotten in my way, I guess. And I appreciate that. I, I, I'm alive, so... I'm okay with life getting in my way because, as we all know, none of us don't have to be here right now. So, I'm grateful. But I do apologize for taking so long to get back to this video and in doing more videos for you. I am going to do better. Um, I had promised that I would, I tried in February to do a video a day. 
every day in the month of February. And guys, that is not possible for me because I am everybody in my business. So it was hard to try to give you guys a video every day. I started out strong, but I, I couldn't do it. So now I'm going to try to do at least one a week or, or maybe two a week um, once I get everything back on track. So another beaded thing that I do are some pens, beaded ink pens. These are also going to be on my site. And listen, everything that I show you guys that I do as far as this beaded project is pretty much done the same way. All you need, excuse me, is the, the stick part to put the beads on. And you, the hardest part I find about this is finding beads to uh, finding beads that fit the stem. You know, and by stem I mean the stick. Uh, this one is one of my favorites. I like it a lot. And then this one. So beads. And this is another rose clip. So the beaded rose clips, the cigar numbers, the credit card pulls, which this is one. I have an order for a yellow one that I'm working on, but I need, I, I really want to find like different beads to use for it than um, these little large hole ones. We are doing these guys. Let me show you a few that I've already done. So what you'll need for is obviously the beads of your choice, but make sure that they fit the size of your stick. And I, I think maybe like a hole of 2.5 millimeters will work. Here's another one I call a NOLA, another thing. Guys, I name my products by friends, family, uh, people that may have purchased from me. I give them names. And these are also on my site with those names. So these, you see, I have a bunch already made. But again, so what you'll need for these are the beads, obviously. And then any type of embellishments you want. If you want charms to hang off, you, you can do that. If you want um, tassels to hang off, you can do that. Like this one could have easily been a cigar number, number if I, you know, took cut it off and just made it shorter. But I use a different type of thing for a cigar number, so I'll show you. So you'll need your beads. Let me move the pens out of the way. You're gonna need your cocktail skewers, skewers, or whatever they're called. Guys, I'm sorry for the noise. I get these, let me show you, on Amazon. Comes in this bag, sharp edges, they'll tell you that. They give you these little soft, uh, what is it? I don't know. Like plastic little things to put on, like on the bottom, so you don't cut yourself trying to handle them. But this is what they look like. You can get. They come with a ball at the top, just a regular. What is that? Like a. I don't know what that's called. Whatever that shape is, cylinder looking, and then a circle. So this is what they look like. And let me give you the measurement. I will put up a link to let you guys know where to find them on Amazon. And they're about four inches long. Yes. About four inches long. But you're gonna need and stainless steel cocktail picks is what I got, and I got a pack of fifteen for seven dollars and ninety nine cent off Amazon. So that's what I use to you to do my cigar numbers. Now, I need glue. Normally, I use E six thousand. I like to get two picks because I squeeze my glue out onto whatever you're gonna squeeze your glue out on and like to get a toothpick, 
to pick up a little and rub it on the spot that I want held by the bead onto the stick. So glue, toothpick, pick, sticks, beads, and whatever embellishments you want, um, whether it be spacers, anything that you want to kind of go in between your number. Like in this one, it's not a number, but uh, these the, the little bracelet separate spaces or whatever. Let's just look at a, a cigar number since that's what we're talking about. See how this one has them in the middle. So just get whatever you feel like you want to use as long as it fits this it should be fine that one's pretty that one's pretty beads can come from michael's you know what the brown ones are a little bit more expensive michael's hobby lobby we have a bead shop which is where i'm gonna go tomorrow to find some pretty yellow ones to make one of these for um the order that i have um, Joanne's, anywhere that, uh, bees are sold, you can, you can pretty much find them. This, believe it or not, uh, the price is not on it, but again, it's brown label. If you shop at, uh, Michael's, then you know what the price of the brown labels are. But this head is actually what I used on this one. So... I might have another one like that, but just a bit different because I try to make everything that I sell different. Like I said on my site, no two items are the same. So that is the martini on that. Look at this one. It's pretty. I love my work, guys. I love my work. Uh, so glue. Like I said, I use E6000. You can use E6000. You can use... Uh, super glue, crazy glue. All right, y'all, let's get to it. All right, so with this one, let's 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 make one real quick. I like metal beads. See, like these. I thought these were really cute because I'm trying to um do something more for guys. I like doing stuff for the ladies obviously because i am a lady i don't smoke but i'm a lady uh and i like i want i want to have something for the guys too and of course then you have to make it manly for them they don't want all that bling on it so i found that and i thought i would try to use it i also thought had the idea to do like ones for your birthday because I found these like this says uh, Capricorn and it has the goat these will be the charms that fall off so I think I am going to if I have 12 I'm going to use these and do that but I need to find the colors that coincide with the birth months gotta do some homework because all I know is August and that's green and that's me I think May is green too so two four six eight ten we got 12 of these we're gonna use i already have the cute little the colors that go with it does it say what month it is i guess it's in order so i might be in luck guys if if green fall yep i, I believe it's in order because august is the eighth month and may is the fifth month so this tells me this is right so i am going to use this and these and I'm going to pull out 12 sticks, and that's what I'm going to work on for that. Look at the ideas flowing. That's that. Now, with this, let's see. And that's all I do. I, I pull out the little plastic protector and slide the... Uh, Beat on whatever one I was trying to use. And let me show you guys what I meant by sometimes you, it doesn't work. Like, well, oh, I got lucky. This is going to be nice. I'm definitely using that. I'm going to the one that I was already using. Let's try you. Okay. See, some of your beads, it won't fit. 
So you have to find something else to do with this. Okay. So we just move right along, move right along. But I also found, remember I said I wanted to do something for the guys? Well, these are uh, from Michaels, believe it or not. Metal beads. I like metal beads. And I think this would be nice. It's metal. It's kind of heavy. Gives it a nice little look. And I can put that on. And already we got the nice little head. That's nice. And if I wanted to see what it looks like on one with the round. That's what that will look like. And then somebody that really likes skulls just put skulls all the way up and down it. <laughs> There's no creativity in that at all, but you know, you never know. I actually like the way it looks, believe it or not. And I bought two strands of them, so it's not like, you know, the thing about this would be, it's where your glue's going to come in. So let's just say, I think I might do this, guys. I really do. I think I might just do that. Look at that. I think I'm going to roll with it. So let's do it. A glue. Let me get something to put our glue on. And we're going to get our toothpick. Y'all know E6000 smells, but it also moves. So you got to stand it back up. If it, it keep oozing out. If you lay it down, it still want to come out. <laughs> Where's the toothpick? I'm going to fix you. I don't need no more of you. All right. So just put a little bit on your stick. I'm going to put some at the very top, too, to hold that head right up there. I'm sorry. I'm talking. I got, need to show you guys, huh? So, this is, that's why I know I want the one at the top to be. All I did is put a little glue right here, right at the bottom of this on every side, right? And then I'll just bring my little head up. And I think I want the circle. I want it like that. So I'm going to just hold it there. All right. I can probably do another one while this dries. Because with this one, if I'm going to do that procedure that way. Procedure like I'm, I'm working on a heart. <laughs> if I'm going to do it that way, then... Every single one is going to have to have glue on it. So I think I am going to sit this one aside and let this get hard up against this one. So this one's going to take me longer than it would normally take to do these because, guys, it does not take that long. But because I had the bright idea to do a thing full of all skulls, then I have to do it that way because they all need to be glued together. I kind of keep remembering it to look right here where my green dot is because I keep wanting to look this way and I feel like I look kind of cockeyed. But I'm going to go ahead on and keep looking right here so we can be on the same page. <laughs> All right, so we're going to sit him down. I don't know what I'm going to call him. He is going to be edgy. All right, so we're going to move on. So let's find some more beads to play with. Ooh, this is a big one. That's huge. I like some big. All right, let's see what we're going to do here. So we can do this. I got a few other ones. And then we don't want to do too many. Like, I could probably really stop this one right here. Because you just want them to have room to for them to hold it and poke their cigar 
and be able to hold it to their mouth and still smoke the rest of the cigar. Again, I don't smoke, but I supply for smokers. I ain't even mad at them. Women that smoke cigars look so cool. They remind me of women that uh, ride motorcycles or women that drive big trucks. You know, it's, it's just something about that that's just, that's badass to me. So, shout out to y'all. But, yeah, it's simple, it's neutral, and I like it. So the process is, I always want to put one right up here at the top and glue this to it. So that's what I would do if I was going to keep it that way. And then the next one, you know, add your glue from your stick. Put a little bit here. Put the next one on. Wait a second. Put a little bit here. Put the next one on. Wait a second. And wait a second. I typically glue all of mine together because I don't really want them to change it. But this is an idea. Uh, let's try another color. Uh, my favorite color is green. So we're going to go with that. Wish I can find something else going to go with this because I like it. Let me cut out the other one. Let's try this silver. See, I'm mad because that won't go down. And sometimes that's that's just the break. So I know I can use that on the bracelet or uh, let's see when I get ready to do this is like 14 gauge wire. It works on here. So when I get ready to do another rose clip or something and I want to hang something off, then that's what I did. So I know that this will work on 14 gauge wire. So don't be mad when you go out and buy your beads and they all you know, or different sizes or the holes are different size because you can use that on another project. Like everything doesn't have to go with your numbers or whatever. I know that's what you're working on now, but remember you have so many different ways that you can do this, this beaded project. So yeah, I'm not going to get lucky with the beads that I want to match this. So that's not gonna work. Let's see if this orange one will work. Nope, not lucky here. That would have been so dope. But I, I do get a little cute little silver one, but I need color. So we're going to have to that down until we come up with something else but i really like that and i just want to keep it in that family i don't know what i could use to bring that out so we're gonna take that off and go with this big one see see what i'm talking about now it went in one way it's the same from this see these natural stones you don't, you don't know what you're going to get. I almost stabbed myself. Yeah, I don't want to. I can't. There's nothing I can do. Be careful because you will stab yourself. And <laughs> I've done it. This one's not going to work for you. So I could go down smaller. Right? And then we could just add another separator. And I should have bought two of the big ones to end it the right way but so yeah we're gonna have to play with this because it didn't leave it's it's, it's for me it's not enough i like i like about that much so to be honest i can just take that off let me try something with this gray one gray all gray everything Ooh, that's sexy. Look at that. Nice. I'm going to call that one steel. Look at that. That's a that's a done deal. That's a done deal. So we found the bead that we, we found what we wanted to work. So guess what we're going to do? We're going to take our glue. That's already starting to harden. <laughs> Which means we're going to squeeze out a little bit more. Put it around that top. All right. I should have did this as a live. 
I finally got over a thousand subscribers, guys. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate it. If you're watching this video or you've watched any of my other videos, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Uh, for those of you that have subscribed, thank you so, so much for helping me reach my goal. Um, which is why I said, I'm going to do better by you guys because you are great. You guys are awesome. And I know that you enjoy the content. So, oh, good Lord, this stinks. This stank. So, yes, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. I promise I won't uh, have your inbox full. Ask some of the people that's already subscribed. <laughs> I gotta do better. So, every... Every space... I added glue and then I'm gonna come here and add some more here and I'm just picking it up i am squeezed the glue on this little cardboard and I'm rubbing my toothpick in it picking it up with the toothpick putting it on on the bead top and around the the pick that's what I'm doing and that's how I do it. And then I just let that fall down and push it down on there and wait. Yep, that's what we gonna do. I like it. That's a guy. I like it. I ain't mad at this one. Mm-hmm. So that's the process, y'all. I don't really want to keep y'all. I wish I did go live because that way I can um interact with you guys. As you can see, I don't have no problem talking to myself. Who's on TV? Is that my TV or the computer? Everything going back there. That's the TV. Don't talk about my little TV either. I'm in my office. I don't need nothing big up in here. Yep, I hope y'all find this helpful. So we're going to sit this one aside and we're going to pick up this one that we started with. It's pretty hard. All right, so add a little bit more glue. Get some more glue. And right up under that head. We're going to... Put that glue. Y'all, I um, started a Twitch account. I don't know if you guys know anything about Twitch, but I'm still learning how to set it up because I want to be able to do videos where I can see you and read your comments and you can still see what I'm doing with my hand. So I have a webcam. I do have a Canon camera that I'm supposed to be using. I'm still using my cell phone just because I want to get this video up and out the way. Um, but yes, I'm trying to do some things different. I want to stream on multiple platforms. And Twitch is one. When I am together over there and I'm, everything looks the way I want it to. Y'all can find me on Twitch if you're already over there. And if you are watching this video and you are on Twitch, help me. Help me be great like you. You think I should turn them? You think the head should, you know, kind of not be straight up and down? You think they should go different ways like that? And then the other one go another way and the other way? I think that'll be dope too. I don't know what to do. So yeah, I'm, we're going to keep this one straight for now since I put the glue there and we're just going to hold it. But guys, when you start doing this, your creativity will kick in. And sometimes whatever you start with might not be your your um, your outcome. <laughs> but that's okay. 
that is okay. Is that 36 minutes? I'm not even editing this video because sometimes, guys, believe it or not, thinking about doing the video, gathering all of this stuff, putting it together, putting the video out, well, back up, looking at the video, editing the video, add music to the video, and all these other little things. It's exhausting just to think about. And a lot of times that is why I haven't put up a video. But honey, this one right here. This video right here is going to stop. And I'm going to put it up. It's what you're going to get today. Because I made y'all wait too long. The lighting's good. I'm cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just did my hair. Show sure did. Not not for the video. I just did it because the shit needed to be done. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we're not editing this. We're going to put it out there. If I mess, mess up, that's what y'all going to see. If I stumble over a word, that's what y'all going to get. Yeah, I'm going to just let that sit. I don't know. I mean, I like, I like my thought process of this one but um i'm mad that it's gonna take me all night the good thing about all night is i'm usually up all night the bad thing is i ain't really want to be messing with that all night look at that see e6000 ain't no joke now it still needs to take the full day to be hard but this was pretty much done and it's hard so we're gonna move that to the side i keep pushing down on it because E6000 also moves. I like to, every once in a while, if you if you don't have anything to stand it up so the bees can kind of push on each other, go walk up to it and you push it itself to just make sure that they connect. So they don't completely walk away from it because E6000 is a glue that's kind of loose until it starts firming. So you want to make sure that it, that it hardens the way you want it to harden. So we're going to put that one back there. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's see. Bubblegum bees are these bees. Look like bubblegum. Yellow. Well, yellow is obviously for a girl. So we, ain't, we are not going to play with the skulls with that. This is where I go over to my stash. Got a stash of silver and bling okay that's cool so we could just do that add another one as you can see i don't put my glue on until i know for sure if i like the look all right that's good now yeah, because if I add another one, it's not too bad. It's still good. It's still, it's still enough space for them to poke the cigar and, and stop. So that's not too bad, especially when the bees are small. This one's one of my favorites. I really like this look. And you see how much stick is here? So it's not, it's not too bad. It's okay. Yes, doable. So am I going to go with it? It's boring. So you, the other thing, I might do this. I'm going to do this because I'm, I can make a charm and put a word on it and adhere that charm to this to make this pop. Or I can add... If I was going to add like a hanging charm or something like, like this, I don't know what birthstone. Is there a yellow birthstone? I don't know. Is there a yellow birthstone, guys? You know, don't look like it according to these gemstones. You mean to tell me no? There's nobody with yellow as a birthstone? Isn't that weird? Hold on. What is that? No, for real. No, nobody has yellow as a birthstone. I never knew that. Wow. Hmm. Well, whatever. 
if I wanted to hang, if a Scorpio favorite color was yellow and I wanted to hang this off, I could, you know, put it in here. I'm not going to do this. I just want to show you guys what the options are. Uh -huh. shoot but then that that would hang like that I don't, I, don't, I don't like how it's sticking out like that when I push it up so I think I would add another hook another jump ring to it and let it kind of dangle down like that so that's cute that's what these are gonna be with the burst off hanging off so I know I need to add another thing but a charm glued to you know, one side of this with the person's name on it is kind of dope. So that's an option. You could do that. But we are not. I can't believe no. there's no yellow birthstone. Who knew? Did you guys know that? I'm sure somebody on here that, that's uh, into Zodiacs knew that. I had no idea. I'm playing around with this because I like it. Now this i found these this shell and this at a uh beach um shop event how pretty that is the problem the reason i hadn't used it yet because i didn't know what to make to do with it this didn't go with it but it looks like it'll match so we are going to try something here See, you know when you like it already. It look like a lady dress. And I'm going to still add this. Look at that. I like it. I like it a lot. So since I like it, we going with it. I don't know. I think I'm going to change this just because I got bling here. Let me see what it looks like. See, this is why I wish I had interaction because when I ask a question like that, y'all could tell me what you think because your opinion matters. But since I don't have you guys, I got to go with it myself. I like this too. I'm doing this one. I hope you guys, I hope y'all agree. <laughs> but that's what we're gonna do. So, like I say, you play with your beads until you know you figure out what you like. And I like this, so let it come down a little bit. Get your glue. Mm -hmm. Bring that around. Take off a little bit of the excess. Bring that up and then hit this bottom. Bring that up. You can bring this one up too because that's just a little spacer. And then squeeze your little more. Hit that bottom. You don't need a lot. You need enough though. And you can bring that up and then hit this one right up in there, right inside the uh, the space that has a dip. Just pile it in there. Yep. I got lucky with that one. And then if you want to put something on the bottom, just so it's not naked down there. You can add like something small. Let me see if this fits. Ooh, and it does. Like a small little closer, if you will. Something like that. And we're gonna use that. So, ooh, that glue hardens quick. Shoot, I stabbed myself again, y'all. And I'm trying not to curse. And let it, uh, Let it adhere. 
blow on it. You got to blow on it. You ain't got to do that. Now you got to wipe it down with some, uh, well, they need to be wiped off anyway because there's going to be glue on it. So that's when you get your uh, Clorox wipe, hand sanitizer, whatever you wipe it down with. You got to get this extra off. Yep. We are good here. So I'm going to set this one down right next to the skull. The struggle is real. The struggle is real. All right. Let's see what else we got down here. We squeeze it on this. So we've done two and a half. This one. This one's in the making. We're going to put on our third skull. I, I think I'm going to love this one. I think I'm gonna love it. I really wish I had y'all on here with me. You know what? I'm gonna go live. I'm gonna go live. The next video I do, I'm gonna go live because I have to learn how to do it. I didn't have the ability to do it before reaching a thousand subscribers, so I'm grateful again. Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm grateful that now that I do have that, I can I can now go live and get the experience in doing that. So I can't wait to try it and see who joins me. I want y'all to see me be great. What's on TV? What is that? Eddie Murphy? Speaking of Eddie Murphy, what's the, oh, uh, Holly Berry, that's the old, I can't think of the name of it. See, again, this is why I wish I had y'all, because y'all would tell me what was on in the background, because I, and it's a classic. I can't think of the name of it. But I know my favorite part, and is that Martin Lawrence too? Yes. God, what is the name of this movie? But there's a part in it where she, Holly Berry is dating David Allen Greer, and they give bitch i think she's leaving or he's leaving and they're saying goodbye and they say it to each other in many in different languages that was hilarious to me the very first time i saw it oh my god i cannot think of the name of this movie it's gonna kill me i have to find out what it is i can't i want to i want i don't want to look i feel like it should just come to me but it's not coming to me. And again, why going live is great because y'all could tell me what the movie is. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I see it. <laughs> Can't see it. Wow. Oh, boy. I don't know what it's called. All right, I'm moving on. To another one. On to another one. More bubble gum. Purple. Ooh, this is gonna be pretty. Look at that. That's pretty. That's pretty already. I just slide them on there until I figure out what I like. Everything don't have to be uniform unless you like uniform. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you can just be fun. Have fun with it. Look at that. But I was just saying, you just use what you got. You got to use what you got to get what you want. Look at that. I like that. I think I'm going to go with it. The only issue I have with this is the silver ball. It, I feel like it should be the color I want this to be. But it's not. It is not. This is pretty. 
This is pretty. This would be nice with some bling. Let's see something. Let's see what we got over on y'all. Is that boomerang? Boomerang? What y'all think? I like it. And since I like it, we gonna roll with it. Roll with it. I think it's boomerang. <laughs> And I did call it a classic. Oh, well, I, like I was saying, speaking of Eddie Murphy. An hour, y'all? Really? What did you guys think about Coming to America 2? What did you think? Did you like it? Did you think they should have left well enough alone? Do you feel like there was way too many cameos. Do you, did you enjoy the cameos at least? What you think about how uh, the dad died? <laughs> For me, I think I'm in agreement with the rest of the world that not often, if ever, do you find a movie that's made and then the second one is better. However, I didn't think that the second would, would be better because, like we, we just talked about what history says. And then, um, I didn't watch it thinking that it would be better. I knew going in that I just wanted to enjoy the movie. And I did. I did enjoy the movie for what it was. I didn't watch it trying to compare it to the first one. I was glad to see some of the same um, actors from the first one. I was actually grateful for that because like I started out saying in my video, we don't have to be here. So it was good to see familiar faces in the movie. Uh, the storyline... I get it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I guess. Uh, I'm, yeah, whatever. Uh, what's this? Uh, Wesley Snipes, though? I feel like, in my opinion, if it were not for Wesley Snipes, the movie would not have been as enjoyed by all of those that enjoyed it as much so basically what i'm saying is wesley snipes to me made that movie i think he did an amazing job i thought he was hilarious there's a part they say where rick ross looked directly in the camera i watched it once partially watched it when my dude watched it I, did, I must have missed that part. So I do plan to watch it again to see if Rick, Wal Rick Ross actually looks directly in the camera. Rumor has it that the house this movie was filmed in is actually his house. I was supposed to look up who house it was before Rick Ross because I think that house was purchased from a fighter. But I'm not, don't quote me on that because, again, I'm not sure. And I'm not sure about what I just said. Like I said, rumor has it that that was actually Rick Ross's house. When I think about people that live in houses like that, I always think about who the hell lives in there with them. You can't be that selfish and have that much house and not have people living with you. See, when I'm great and I'm able to have a big ass house like that, I'm going to have some people living with me. Yeah. I got to. You can't have a house that big and not, you know? Yeah, I like it. I like her. So every time I finish one, I try to go back and 
push up on push up on it push up on some of the ones that we started this is going really good guys this this right here oh might be days i think it's gonna get let me see we're at three already my laziness says put one more on it and call it a day but i might give it two more and call it a day since i have two of the same size i'm going to keep it silver start with this one go with this you know what let's get bold the silver see what that looks like go with this then go with the bigger one and find another one like that i don't want to knock nothing else on the floor because you don't need to be bending down there trying to get it is your girl this girl put that on there and then you too much too wide I ain't feeling it it don't hit me you know mm -hmm. all right all right I see you riddle me this I walk in the room. That's all right. I might just stop it here. I think I can. And maybe just put like a little cap on the bottom. Let me see. I'll keep a stand there. I keep my beads in these. I get like a case from Michaels and it has, I don't know, they're different colors. I buy that. Ooh, hold up. We might be on or something. Oh my God. Look at God. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Guess what? We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Wow. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I found it like chopper right quick. Ow. Oh. Oh. Who they want? Again, if you ain't from New Orleans, I apologize. Sometimes I say some stuff that triggers something. See, like that, just that trigger man. Just, you know, I just feel like I want to stop bouncing. This is going to be the last one, guys, because this video is <laughs> getting long and I'm getting crazy. I'm getting delirious. See, I can't stop. I can't stop. Can't stop how I feel. I'm digging on you. You digging on me. We digging on. Did I say that right? I don't know. As soon as I walk in the room. Riddle me this. I don't know why I can't get that song out of my head. One more. And I'm done, done, done. <laughs> Until the next video. So then we're going to go over everything that I did. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go over this. Over this. Yeah. Yeah. Keep a napkin. I didn't mention that you needed a napkin, but guys, you're gonna need a napkin because that glue will get up on you. It'll get up on you. Okay, so here we are. We did four and a half <laughs> this is gonna be the last one and i'm gonna go back to the skulls and then once the skulls are complete i will post a picture of them probably on my instagram because this one 
I don't know what the name is. I should ask you guys for names. I tell you what, if you are watching this video, I want you guys to help me name the five cigar numbers that I'm putting up. So this is we gonna I'm gonna call it blue and silver so that I'll know which ones you guys are naming. So we're gonna say blue and silver, we're gonna say equal, and then whatever whatever name you choose. And if one day you go on my website, you'll see the name, depending on what you guys said on my site is the name that I chose. I'm gonna let it stay. So blue and silver equals whatever name you think I should name it, right? I'm gonna put that one down. This one, I feel like it should be called Mardi Gras. But I'm curious to know what you guys think. I really like Mardi Gras. But I'm from New Orleans, so I would say that. And then this one, I'm not sure. So, blue and silver equals, Mardi Gras equals. We're going to call this one Lady Shape equals or lady dress equals whatever name you guys come up with that's what it looks like all the way around skulls we still need to add two more to you so that's probably a given but i'm curious as to what you guys would name that once it's complete that's what that one to look like and then this one i called steel but we can change that because you guys may have something better. This is why I wish I did go live. That way I can see your comments. But we're just going to call it gray equals. So gray equals whatever you guys choose. Skull equals whatever you guys choose. Mardi Gras equals whatever you guys choose. Lady shape equals whatever you guys choose. And then this blue and silver one equals whatever you guys choose. So with that, I hope this was helpful to anybody watching, wanting to learn to make these things. You need your stainless steel cocktail picks which i get from amazon and like i said 7.99 for a pack of 15. i will post the link once the video goes up um you can also get them on etsy you need beads um beads with a large hole 2.5 millimeter i want to say um but if it has a larger hole, it probably will work. Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's. If there's a bee shop in your area, you can go there. If you live in New Orleans, y'all know our bee shop is on Magazine Street. It's pricey, but they have really good beads. Um, what else? Glue, E6000. I hear this stuff holds any and everything. I didn't use it because it's brown and I know my E6000 is going to dry clear. This probably dries, well, <laughs> I think it dried pretty clear on an old girl, but yeah, but that wasn't this, but still it's the same stuff. Don't put this in your head. Um, what else you need? You're going to need something to squeeze your glue on. You're going to need, I use toothpicks. You can, you can do that part however you want. But I use a toothpick because once I'm done with the toothpick and the paper that I use, I just trash it. Which is what I'm doing now. And that is that. You're going to need the beads of your choice. You're going to need any kind of silver, rhinestone, uh, metal embellishments. I like the metal look because I like, I'm, again, I was trying to do something that I could sell to my guys. Which... I might have two of the five that I did. So once I'm done with this video and I turn you guys off, I am going to work on some more. And if you're interested in seeing what those look like, you can visit my website, which is www.imposinggestures.com. 
you can I know it's backwards because I'm looking at it. You can follow my Instagram, which is also Imposing Gestures. I have two Instagrams, actually. One is Treasures by Imposing Gestures. Everything that I'm telling you guys, there's a flow page link on my YouTube page. So you can just click on that and it'll take you everywhere. Um, also, my cash app is there. So if you feel like you want to bless my hands because I'm great like that and I appreciate you. Thank you. And then that is it. If you're interested in join, joining a craft group, I have a Facebook group, which is called Clubhouse, uh, Clubhouse Crafting Crew. I am also selling shirts for that. And if you're interested in any 504 Fresh Year, I also have that. You can support a Southern University uh, student. Well, not anymore. I'm done with that. <laughs> and then, yeah. Thank you guys so much. And please, once again, um, as I leave you all to have a blessed night or morning, depending on where you're watching this. Thank you so much for watching me. I appreciate you guys for subscribing those that did already. If you haven't, now's your chance. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you kindly. Bye.